Hey there, welcome to this week's In the Shop with Scott. I spent some time working on reindeer, finishing up that fishnet, and also a cutting board as a special gift for a niece that likes to cook. So, hope you enjoy the footage. Back in episode 5, I glued up this cutting board. It was now time to run it through the planer. Before using the drum sander, I needed to change out the paper. This is actually a pretty easy process, um, but the paper lasts for quite a while. With that done, I've put a couple passes on the cutting board to take out any grooves left from the planer. Then using the sled on my table saw, I squared up the ends. I then hit the edges with a quarter inch roundover bit on both sides. Then sand with 80 and 120 grit before water popping and finishing off with the final 220 grit. Enough of that sanding on the cutting board, let's get to something else fun. To get a really nice finish on this varnish, I used some steel wool and soap and water mixture just to buff out any imperfections and then hit it with a wax. I did this on the hoop and the handle as well. So I picked up this Bessie suction mount clamp that uh, spins in multiple directions. I found after tying the last net on, um, it kind of bunched up and got in the way. So this holds it up a little bit higher and makes it uh, easier to work on. Using that 2x4 cedar that I had run through the sander last week, I cut this down into 8 inch lengths to be used for the reindeer. On a previous video I showed cutting one of these reindeer. This is a different profile and now that I have the 1 8 inch blade, the cuts is so much smoother for these curves. Getting ready to start another net, I went out to my local woodcraft and picked up a piece of ambrosia maple. So I'm going to rip this down for the strips. For the handle, I found uh, what's called Angelique. Never worked with it. Uh, the grain looks really cool, so I think it's going to be an awesome combination between the two. Uh, so here is uh, that project getting started. Enjoy! I started by cutting this to 60 inches in length. That's all I need for the hoops. So I'll save the rest for a future project. And then run it across the joiner to get a nice smooth edge. I then hit the table saw to get the five strips I needed. Actually cut a few extras just in case they break during the clamping process. I hope you enjoy watching what I worked on this week. And don't forget, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you know when new videos come out. Thanks.